Good morning, guys. It's Katie with Begging for Balance. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about impulse control and about um, how to calm down a dog that's anxious or really excited. And um, Una, as you can hear, does a lot of whining and a lot of um, she just gets really excited about everything. So like. I measured out her food and we're getting ready to do her training this morning and she's just got a lot of whining going on so you can see this exercise is one of the best things for dogs that whine or um, you know just struggle with overexcitement um, it's just having them do a downstay in their crate with the door open and you can do this all the time you can do it for an hour and the dog will go into a calm state. So you'll see her go through all different things. She may try to go out, no. And if she tries to go out, I'll just say no. And she has her e-collar on and I will just um, do a little guidance with the e-collar and she knows all the commands. Um, so I can just say down and she will go back into a down. Um, Hold on, my eye is itching, sorry. Um, anyway, this is something that anyone can do at home. You might say to me, how do I get the dog to stay in there? Because as soon as I open the door, they just rush out. Um, I will show you that really quickly. Hold on. Okay, so if the dog was going to rush out, you just close the door and then if they try to come out again you close the door again and the dog will then you know stop doing that um, and they will just kind of go into this so I didn't have to do that with her this morning she knows the crate exercise she already knows you know that this is a threshold and she's not allowed to come through this door without uh, you know being told and so you can you'll just see a progression in your dog you'll see whining you'll see sometimes they sigh like she just did a little you know that's all just going into a more calm state and you can see she's doing it right now this is what we want so if you were going to get her out this would be the time to put the leashes on when she has gone into a more calm state and you have if you wait for that time each time that you go to take them out or feed them then you are encouraging that state of mind so that's what we want to do we want to wait until the dog is like this and then say yes that's what I want from you now I'll put the leash on and so the dog um, they will really learn that what's expected of them and it doesn't take a whole lot except patience it takes a lot of patience um, and it takes a little time like it's not a good idea to practice this kind of stuff when you are in a rush in a hurry leaving for work something you can try on the weekend do it when you have you know an hour two hours to just let the dog go into a calm state and then bring them out and then do whatever it is that you need to do with them. There's still a little whining and today is her second day on e-collar. So I am um, tapping the e-collar when she whines on a very low level so that uh, she can learn that when she makes that noise, there's a sensation and then over the days I can go up a little bit like if I just corrected her super high on it that would freak her out and that's not the goal the goal is not to freak her out the goal is to teach her that um, you know the whining causes something to happen so that she knows why it's happening it's not just randomly happening the stem is happening every time she whines or barks and then over the days you can go up 
like up one or two numbers on the e-collar and the dog won't get freaked out by the stem because they will know and understand that the whining is what makes the stimulation happen. So each time she whines, I'm just tapping on a low level. And the whining's not gonna stop today because I'm not, um, you know, it's not high enough for her to care about that sensation right now, but in a couple of days we'll be able to correct more for the whining. Um, so anyway, that's how to get a more calm and relaxed dog is make sure that you get that state of mind before you do whatever it is you're gonna do with them, reward them in any way, whether it's putting leashes on, feeding them, playing with them, letting them into the car, getting them out of the car, all things. They should be in a calm, relaxed state before you give that. So, okay guys, we'll check back in later.